The King James Bible, the Book of Amos, Chapter 5. Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel is fallen, she shall no more rise. She is forsaken upon her land, there is none to raise her up. For thus saith the Lord God, The city that went out by a thousand shall leave a hundred, and that which went forth by a hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. But seek not Bethel, nor, nor enter into Gilgal, or pass into Beersheba, or, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come up not. Seek the Lord, and ye shall live, lest he break our, break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who can, ye who turn judgment to wormwood, and leave off righteousness in the earth, seek him that maketh the seven stars of and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. That strength, strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuketh him in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. For as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor, and ye take from him burdens of wheat, ye have built houses of hewn stone but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink the wine of them. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, they take a bribe, and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil, and love the good, and, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord, of God, the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore the Lord, the God of the hosts, sorry. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Wailing shall be in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas! And he shall call the husbandsmen to mourning, and such as are skilful of lamentation to wailing. And in all vineyards shall be wailing for one, for I will pass through through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To the, what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion, and bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, and even very dark, and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings or your fat beasts, of your fat beasts. Take away... <clears throat> Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. But let the judgments run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? Have ye borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chion your images, the star of your God which ye made to yourselves? Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity, Beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Chapter 6 Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Pass ye unto Chalna, and see, and from thence go ye to Hamath the great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Be they better than these kingdoms, or their border greater than your border? Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seed of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory, and stretch themselves upon their couches, and eat the lambs out of the flock, and the calves out of the midst of the stall. They're chanted to the sound of the viol, 
and invent them to themselves instruments of music like David, that drink wine and bulls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. The Lord God hath sworn by himself, saith the Lord God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob, and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. And it shall come to pass that there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die, and a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him to bring out the bones out of the house, and shall say unto them, Him that is by the side of the house, Is there any yet with thee? And he shall say, No, then shall, shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. For behold, the Lord commandeth, and he will smite the great house with breaches, and the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plough there with oxen? For ye have turned judgment into gall, and the fruit of righteousness into hemlock. Ye which rejoice in the thing of naught, which say, have ye not taken to us horns by your own strength? But behold, I will rise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, saith the Lord God of hosts, and they shall say, they shall afflict you from the entering into Hamath unto the river of the wilderness. Chapter 7 Thus hath, hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth. And lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, it shall not be, saith the Lord. Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and it did eat up a part. Then said I, O Lord God, Cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, this also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Thus he shewed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon the wall made by a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of, thy, of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise again the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos saith, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go flee away from, go flee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophecy there. But prophecy not again any more in Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. But I was a herdsman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Now therefore hear thou the word of the Lord. Thou sayest, Prophecy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth.